I have really fallen off. I still have so much decluttering to do, but I just can't even bear to do anything properly without actually tidying the mess that is going on right now. After the weekend away, coming back from Australia and having a full work week and daylight savings and it's snowing and raining at the same time, I think it's because it came from exponential amounts of sunshine and happiness for two weeks and coming back here is like, they say it messes up your serotonin. wiped down the kitchen and did another batch of dishes. I want to make an English breakfast tea, so that's why this is out. And then maybe later I'll have coffee. All right, I need to clean my sheets actually. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing next. And then after I'll deal with the clothes. I think the clothes for now, I'll just shove on my ottoman. Okay, we're ready to make some French toast, I think, today, because that's what I feel like. My French toast is really simple. I grab an egg, I take two slices of bread. I think I could have cheaped out on the milk a little bit, or maybe I'll make a third and then it'll just be more than I expected. Yesterday night, my boyfriend and I made a green curry and there's leftover kefir lime leaves. Oh my God. It smells so good. It reminds me of lemongrass, but not quite. Anyways, oh, they use this in tom yum and in curries. I've got my crunchy peanut butter and my strawberries. No banana this time. And I'm gonna put some maple syrup. Currently doing another load of laundry, but I need to get my bedding up and running for tonight. And then I need to clear the piles of mess. The weather is really not conducive of anything else this Sunday. I did as many chores as I could in the daylight. I find it difficult to clean when you can't really see. pile of clothes have now turned into stuff I wear randomly when I go downstairs and lighter pajama pants because I wear these knit ones around the house but they're too hot to sleep with. I'll wear these thinner ones. I think these were from Victoria's Secret in the 90s and it's such a beautiful light material. Like it's a polyester for sure but it's just it's not shitty. I am a devout Lululemon lover however these are the airy offline leggings. They're the flared ones, but now they have the boot cut ones, which I'm thinking of getting because they last me about a year and then they get too stretched out to wear. And then I just have an old Gap waffle shirt. I swear ever since I've started wearing a handful of the same things, whether that be clothing or makeup, I have really reduced over the years my itch to shop in general and I've been saving so much money. I met up with a friend today and we were talking about feng shui and furniture placement and stuff. I realized you're not really supposed to have a mirror in your bedroom and it's something I always knew and I thought, oh well like I have no choice, that's my dresser. But I also have this dresser. Well guys, I have just been in a spring cleaning mood. Things are not perfect, but I moved some plants around. I actually removed a couple that were duplicates that were almost dying, and honestly, I just couldn't stand the look of it anymore. I took off some Christmas lights that I had up there literally for a year and a half that I just never took down. The next thing I did was move my ottoman. Truthfully, a bit of a mess today, but Previously, my ottoman was right here, and I just found that it was unnecessary because I already have a footboard. It also gives me a little bit more room to open my drawers. Overall, I'm satisfied. It'll look nicer when I have my room fixed up.
put the clothing rack there. We still have a bit of a mess here. The guy who was supposed to pick up the bed frame never came. So the luggage that I have here is actually empty. I used it for vacation and then I just left all my summer clothes on the rack because I have to go through them anyways. And then put the mirrored dresser here so that I can use it for videos. It is good Friday and last night I stayed up super late. So right now it is 4 p.m. Look at how bright it is. Oh my goodness, I think I'm gonna have to cut these off. Mom and I called these the Mariah Carey's because they look like butterflies and the butterfly was an album. I am moving everything that is here to this side of the room because I want to move this dresser into my bedroom. I think I'll be putting the lighter dresser in here. I might as well. I've got to move things around and clean back there. Springtime, y'all. When I say this is the worst part, I mean that this is the worst part. Also have to cross your fingers and pray because that's the only thing that I've been able to do because if this part fails you're probably gonna run into this over and over again you're gonna have to wipe the iPhone or reset the iPhone try the process again and again and again and again I can't always dedicate an entire day to decluttering but I can keep a box at the entrance of my apartment and fill it up as I go and then when it's full I can bring those things off to donation or recycle or throw out if it's trash make it an ongoing process because if it's a small habit then it'll be easier than throwing away entire days to declutter i almost threw out this humidifier but it turns out it just needed a really good cleaning and now it's good as new so far i've got a bag of old makeup that i found in the last of mom's makeup drawers i haven't decluttered everything but i've you know, decluttered a good chunk. Unfortunately, there are a ton of NARS discontinued shades in there, like Taj Mahal. She went to town on her cosmetics, so a lot of these look pretty rough, but then a few things are like practically new. I'm pretty certain I got this in PR, maybe tried it once or twice, and then was like, yeah, no. Sorry, this thing's really dusty. I need to get rid of this. So it is a printer scanner from Canon. Problem is the printer always gave me issues towards the end. I can't remember the last time I used it. And then we have the scanner. All you do is download Adobe Scan on your cell phone and it converts your photo into a PDF and you can immediately email it to yourself. Whenever I need to print something, I go to the university print shop and I just pay a couple of cents. Does anyone else have a spot like this where I have memorabilia cards and some photos, agendas, school stuff? Does anyone else have a box like this? I want to know. I'm curious. I still have all of this to go through, but I went through my mom's stuff and got rid of the majority of like old tax papers and things. The result is that I have this heavy bag's worth of documents that I need to shred between mom and I. I found some textbooks that I'm going to be decluttering as well. I found a bunch of mom's hospital cards that I need to get rid of. And I even have the card that says what kind of port she had when she got it installed to receive chemotherapy. The cat tag from the SPCA from my first cat, which, she, I mean, she passed away in 2014. The next decluttering and cleaning video that I post is going to be a closet declutter. Yeah, I'm terrified, but if you want to see it, definitely subscribe so that you don't miss it and hit the notification bell.